Welcome to Road to WrestleMania Tag Team Wrestling for the NES by Data East. Oh, this came out in 86, so pro wrestling for NES was definitely not the first. Or if it was, it came out right before this one. Um, so yeah, this game is very repetitive. Honestly, I mean, I had fun with this game a lot back then. But you only play as the same two teams over and over again, I guess, just to see um, how far you can get by winning all the matches and then working your way up to regional championship, USA championship, and then eventually world championship. And I guess there's 35 rounds you got to do in order to beat the game. I don't know. I've never really... I got real far in this game when I was a kid, but never... I don't know if I ever beat it to the very end. It seemed never freaking ending, just like Burger Time. But, um... I'm real rusty at this game. I did a long time no play of it back in 2010. And I did okay. But, uh... I mean, I'm real rusty, so I'm probably not going to showcase all the moves here. Just like I didn't really showcase all the moves in the previous wrestling video games I did. And... So, uh, bear with me here. I used to really be good at this game, though, but I'm real rusty. So, two teams. The ones I'm playing as, which I assume are the faces, the Ricky Fighters. Yeah, Ricky Fighters. And I'll put the link in the description box below for much more detailed information about this game and the teams. I put the link to my old uh, Long Time No Play video. And the heel team is called the Strong Bads. Yeah, Strong Bads. As in the Strong strong Bad from Homestar Runner? That's weird. But anyway, so you got to hit your opponent first. And then while doing that, you got to hit the either A or B buttons to select the arsenal of moves you have. And you got like five seconds to do it. So it's kind of weird. And when the heels turn red, that means they're getting mad because they're either losing or you keep running away from a fight. Which is kind of cheap because it's it makes him invincible, and I got pwned already. Real rusty at this game as I got beat as I get beat by a fat Road Warrior Hawk. As a crowd chance ECW, I failed. Strong bads, and look how they're walking. What's wrong with them? Boy, they were uh, they were bad enough to beat me. So game over already. That's not a good sign. But I want to see how far I can actually get in this game before I lose. So, it's kind of a long video, and if it's repetitive and you want to stop watching, I understand. But I'm going to go ahead and see how far of a run I can get before I lose. Because you lose once, that's it, you're done. So, I guess you work your way through independent shows and then to mainstream companies or whatever. But, uh... It was real fun when I was a kid. Me and my friends had fun with this game alongside Simon's Quest and others, but... Um, it, 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 it's one of those wrestling games that hasn't aged well. And in my long time low play video, I made a mistake. Those people looking at each other down there, I thought they were fans. Like, looking at each other. But someone in the comment section said, that I think those are the commentators, which makes sense. Because they are wearing headsets, I don't know why I didn't notice that. But anyway, oh, back body drop onto the floor where there's no mats. And unlike WrestleMania, at least this crowd, at least this game has a crowd. All right, drop kick. Let's see if I can do some damage out here. Torture act. See, I'm trying to go through the arsenal moves, but it's tricky because you got to hit them first and then quickly like hit the A or B button. I mean, I'm using a PS2 controller, so it's kind of tricky, but it takes a little bit to get used to as referee Earl Hebner makes a two count. Man, I'm trying to do the move where you ram your opponent's head to the turn post or the... the the uh, ring post. Ah, right, there it is. The teach you, which I don't know why it's called that. See, look. <laughs> touch. He says touch just like the freaking Master System version does. 
I keep saying Master System version or NES version. These two games, well, I, I, I'm thinking, sorry, I'm thinking of pro wrestling for NES, not tag team wrestling. But those two are not related to each other, but just happen to have the same name. And the tag team wrestling, definitely not related to either one. I'm not sure this might be the only port of tag team wrestling. I don't know if there's a PC version or Famicom version or arcade version. So, uh, I have to look that up to make sure. Ugh! I'm trying to keep him counting out of here. Man, they're tough. Oh, now he's mad. Oh, jeez. Oh. Man, I better tag out. And yeah, of course, as you saw at the tile screen, this game is two players. Man, hitting the button, come on, probably an emulator glitch. I mean, I, didn't, I don't remember the game's controls and being this awkward. Oh, Hangman's, uh, or Noose Hang, whatever it's called. And in two-player mode, when you play as the Hill Team, it tells you, it gives you a name, a list. You can see the list of moves, too. You just can't see it when the CPU does it. Ugh. Sometimes I have a chair outside the ring, which looks weird. It looks like a freaking squared fried egg. Or maybe it's the bell. I don't know. Come on, man, it's cheap! Uh oh, 60 seconds remaining. Oh, but I beat him, nice! Alright, so regional ranking number two. So we're just uh wrestling in like small time independent shows right now. Body attack. Looks like he's just stomping his foot. Why not the cross body block? Come on, come on hit him, man. Those commentators on the bottom. They're both babyface commentators. You can tell because they look at it. They look like this. I mean, they look like they're uh, well, not smiling because you can't see because the mouthpieces, but oh, the microphones. But the uh, it's not the cheering. They're cheering on. Like they're looking at each other. Yeah, this is great. What a great drop kick. Oh, all to the ring now. Outside the ring now. Just tossing around like it's nothing. Ouch. Uh, doing the road dog punches. Oh, the close on from hell. Oh, that was close.
<gasps> if you guys remember the story of someone stole my Simon's Quest game when I was a kid. Well, Tag Team Wrestling also got stolen. Not by the same person, but by someone I met before that. And I think they denied it, and so I lost the game. I lost the game, lols. All right. We go to the third round. So I, that's what I think it means up there. It says champ 35R. I think that means in order to be the world champion and beat the game, you got to win 35 rounds. And right now I'm around three. If you remember pro wrestling for the Sega Master System, you had to win 10 falls in order to advance to the next circuit. So, man, what is it with these old wrestling games right here? These non-brand wrestling games and wrestling, like, 50, 60 rounds in order to win a championship. is weird. But the following contest is scheduled for 35 falls. Oh. Okay, there it is. Get the chair. Ah, oh, you idiot. Look, 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 look at a weird chair. Look at, again, like I said, a squared fried egg. Or might be the ring bell. Now, notice both teams switched colors here, it looks like. So, it w did we just have a double turn? Are the Ricky Fighters the heels now and the Strong Bads the faces? I guess it should be called Strong Goods now. Oh, ring out. You got counted out. That's what you get. We're trying to fight outside the ring. All right. Ricky Fighters is a stupid name. All right. So, we are now the regional champions. So, you got to work your way up to ECW champion. All right. Well, sure I can get to ECW mode. So we're we are now the regional champions here. So we're we're moving on up in the world. We got a fancy new ring with the star in the middle. Ooh, get in the ring. Looks like you're standing there taking a leak. Ah, oh, dang! I didn't mean to do that. Get in the ring. That. I guess the body attack too. <laughs> Even the referee's wearing uh, a red shirt. I guess a different referee since we're in a different, um, different uh, class. No, what's, what do we call it? Different region or whatever now. I said it's a star in the middle of the ring. Looks like more of a uh, freaking failed geometry uh, project. Alright, so F H bat. Oh, flying headbutt. Flying. I I said flying. Should have said B U T. I guess they didn't want to spell butt. <laughs> oh, another flying headbutt. Except this time done by him. Pretty good music for, uh, this game the right kind of music for a wrestling environment just like Rocky for the second master system it was the right kind of music for the boxing environment for that game a body attack oh drop kick to the outside of the ring as Taz would say on Smackdown just bring it the arena is packed Oh. Right, here we go with the roll dog punches. Would that be it? Yes.
who remembers this game? Which one of your viewers have actually played this game? And did you enjoy it when you were a kid? Don't enjoy it so much right now, except for nostalgia purposes, but yeah, I mean, back then, at least to me, it was pretty fun. But unfortunately, it's another wrestling game that didn't quite age well. Pro wrestling for the NES, to a certain extent, has aged pretty well. Yes! How's it feel? Oh. Yeah, how's that feel? You like that? Does that feel fake? Shoot, get in the ring, get, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, that was close. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Stop walking in place. I guess it shows him walking down the aisle. In the victory walk or whatever. Whatever. Anyway. Round six. Oh, back body drop onto the concrete floor. Back breaker. So it says back brick. Like, wrong abbreviations for this game. Or it's called the torture rack. Oh. Yeah, I look at those commentators down there, and man, watching a wrestling match, I mean, unless it's a live, unless you're there live, but if you watch it on TV without commentary, boring. There's one time when the GWF had technical difficulties and there was no commentary and it was boring. I was like, man, I want to hear some good guys talking and, ba and, and, and a bad guy talking trash and it was boring. And obviously I know they can't really do, you know, commentary in an NES game. Too much memory can be taken up, but I mean, it just uh, made me think of that time where, you know, wrestling, you got to have commentators. I mean, just pretty much any sport you watch on TV, you got to have commentary. Especially wrestling. With great commentary from Bobby the Brain Heenan, Jesse Ventura, Gorilla Monsoon, Jerry the King Lawler, JR, Joey Styles. Good stuff. Funny if Jeff Farmer was in this game. You got me, Mad Nile. I'm coming full force. Jump at Jeff Farmer. Now let's go to the ring. Outside of the ring again. Ah, he's out of energy though. He's probably he's gonna tag. Can he make the wall tag? Ah, yep, there's the wall tag. <sighs> Crowd's going wild. 
But even though you can't hear him. I'm over here talking about no commentary is boring, but I'm already commentating right here. And like I said, it's repetitive, so I have nothing else to say. Maybe besides what I've already said in the video I did in 2010. And and I just want to see how far I can really get right here. I wanted to give up already on this game when I lost the first match because the controls and stuff was awkward and I was real rusty at it. And I was like, no, nah, i got to show some more of this at least. So I apologize that this video is boring and not much to hear or see, but... It's all about nostalgia to me right now, and it's all about the road to WrestleMania. Come on, get in the ring, Jeff Farmer. Get in the ring with me. Motley Cruz, you turn the tables on me. I'm coming full force. If those of you don't get that reference, I'll put the link in the description box too. Jump a Jeff Farmer interview. He's like... A promo that's so bad that it's good. Uh oh, time's running out. 60 seconds remaining. 60 seconds. Oh, all right, come on, Road Dog. Oh. Oh shoot, oh the referee decided to not be invisible right there and show up. 30 seconds remaining, 30 seconds. Thank you Gary Michael Competa. Come on now. Oh, they're on the outside now. Oh, eight, seven, six. I think if it's a time limit draw, both teams lose and you get game over. Thir two, one. Uh-oh, time over. Oh, the crowd's not happy with that. Yep, game over. All right, so that is the end of Tag Team Wrestling for the NES. Look at the box right here. So... You saw the characters in the game. There's Ricky Fighters, one guy with a mask, one not with a mask, and then you've seen the other wrestlers, and these look nothing like them. But whatever. I still thought it was a pretty cool cover, especially the guy with the green and blue mask down there on the bottom left. It's pretty cool. But anyway, Tag Team Wrestling for the NES hasn't aged well, but it was fun for its time. I had a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about this game, and I will see you in the next video on the road to WrestleMania. God bless and take care.